Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. Chrome is killing ad blockers, right? And in this video, I'm going to talk about what is an ad blocker, what separates uBlock from other ad blockers, you know, the fact that, you know, th this story that Chrome is killing uBlock, what alternatives to uBlock origin are recommended by Chrome, and if there are any privacy concerns with using AdBlock Plus on Chrome. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going, you know, dark. So what is an ad blocker, right? Ad blockers are software tools designed to prevent advertisements from displaying on websites during internet browsing. They function primarily as browser extensions on standalone applications, and they can significantly enhance the user experience by removing intrusive ads, speeding up page loading times, and cons uh, you know conserving bandwidth. How do ad blockers work? Ad blockers operate by comparing web page elements against extensive block lists that identify known advertising content. When a user visits a website, the ad blocker checks the elements being loaded and stops any that are flagged as advertisements. This process not only hides traditional ads like banners and pop-ups, but can also block video ads and tracking scripts that monitor user behavior online. Some of the types of ad blockers, you have browser extensions. These are the most common type, easily installed on browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Examples include AdBlock, AdBlock Plus, and uBlock Origin. You have stand standalone applications. Some ad blockers function as independent software that can filter content across all applications on a device, not just web browsers. You have network level blockers. These tools operate at the network level, filtering traffic for all devices connected to a network, often through customized proxies. There are benefits and drawbacks to ad blockers. The benefits are there's the improved browser ex experience. By Eliminating ads, users can enjoy a cleaner and faster browsing experience. There's privacy protection. Ad blockers can prevent tracking scripts from collecting data on user behavior. Enhancing online privacy, you have reduced risk of malware. Many ads can contain malicious software. Blocking them helps protect devices from infections. You have now here's the drawbacks, right? There's the impact on website revenue. Many websites rely on advertising for income. Blocking ads can reduce their revenue, potentially leading to a less free content, leading to, you know, free content online. You know, they, they gotta get the money from somewhere. There's also potential for overblocking. Some ad blockers may inadvertently block useful content or features on websites affecting user experience negatively. So what separates uBlock from other ad blockers, right? Because, you know, obviously they're not all created the same. So uBlock Origin stands out from other ad blockers due to several key features and practices. You have the open source and integrity. uBlock Origin is an open is open source, which means it's, its code is transparent and can be reviewed by anyone. This transparency builds trust as users can verify that it does not engage in malicious activities. Additionally, the developer of uBlock Origin does not accept donations, which is seen as a commitment to integrity and independence from commercial pressures. There is the no acceptable ads program. Unlike some ad blockers like AdBlock Plus, which allows certain ads to be displayed if they if they meet specific criteria, a program known as Acceptable Ads uBlock Origin blocks all ads by default. This ensures a more comprehensive ad blocking experience without exceptions for paid advertisers. You have performance and efficiency. uBlock Origin is known for its efficient use of system resources. It consumes less memory and CPU compared to other ad blockers, making it a more lightweight option that does doesn't slow down the browser as much, right? For instance, uBlock Origin requires significantly less RAM to operate compared to AdBlock. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. So customizability, uBlock Origin offers extensive custom, uh, customizability, right? Allowing users to create and manage their own filter lists and rules. This level of control is particularly appealing to advanced users who want to tailor their ad blocking experience to their specific needs. You have privacy while both uBlock Origin and other ad blockers like AdBlock have not found to leak user data. uBlock Origin does not have a formal privacy policy. However, its open source nature and the absence of a profit motive provide a level of assurance regarding user privacy. You have resistance to commercial influence. uBlock Origin has resisted buyouts and commercial influences that have affected other ad blockers. For example, some ad blockers have been acquired by companies that then allow certain ads to be whitelisted for free. uBlock Origin has maintained its independence, which is a significant factor in its popularity and trustworthiness. Okay, so Chrome is killing uBlock, right? 
Google is set to disable uBlock Origin in Chrome due to the transition from Manifest version 2 to Manifest version 3 for browser extensions. This change, scheduled to be completed by early 2025, will affect all mv2 extensions not just you block origin so here's the key points right google chrome is moving from mv2 to mv3 which introduces significant technical changes to you know that limit the capabilities of extensions like you block origin uh you block origin lights so right in response raymond hill the developer of you block origin has created a paired or pared down version called you block origin light that complies with mv3 but lacks many features of the original you have warnings and alternative chrome users are being warned to switch to other ad blockers which suggests, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's basically suggestions, you know, is you, you, you know, <laughs> you block origin, ad block plus stands, ad blocker and, and ghostery, right? Enterprise exemption, uh, enterprises using a specific policy will not be affected by these changes until June 2025. So the transition to MV3 is part of Google's broader strategy to enhance security and performance, but it significantly impacts the functionality of ad blockers and other extensions that require more control uh, over browser extensions. Now let's talk about the alternatives to uBlock, right? Because it's going away. So what are the alternatives? Uh, to uBlock Origin that's recommended by Chrome. You have, again, you have the uBlock Origin Lite, a simplified version of uBlock Origin that complies with MV3, but it's not as, it's not like the one, but it's recommended. You have AdBlock Plus, known for its user-friendly interface and acceptable ad standard. It allows users to quickly block most ads and offers customization options. You have Stan's Ad Blocker, which is a free ad blocking solution that effectively blocks various types of ads, enhances security, and improves page loading speeds. You have Ghostery, which focuses on blocking ads and trackers, providing enhanced privacy and a cleaner uh, browsing experience, right? So here is a little nugget, right? Uh, are there any privacy concerns from using something like, you know, uh, you know, the, the, these ad blockers like, you know, Adblock Plus on Chrome? Uh, here are some main points to consider, right? There's data collection, right? Uh, things like, you know, ad blockers like Adblock, Adblock Plus collect certain data during extension update checks, including your browser version, extension, you know, version operating system date of last update and ip address you have the acceptable ads program adblock plus participates in acceptable ads program which allows some non-intrusive ads to be displayed by default this program has raised concerns because it involves whitelisting certain ads which could potentially include tracking elements you have subscription downloads when you add filter subscriptions to adblock plus your ip address and some general information about your browser and adblock plus version are transmitted to hosting website for updates right this data is subject to the adblock plus privacy policy you have potential security risk you know there have been discussions about the potential security risk of browser extensions like adblock plus as they uh have access to all your browser's input and can theoretically forward this data to third parties however there is no concrete evidence that adblock plus currently poses such a risk you know while Ad adblock plus takes measures to protect user data and comply with privacy regulations the collection of certain data and participation in the acceptable ads program may raise privacy concerns for other views other users right uh so where do you stand on this right there's a whole bunch of things going on companies are jockeying to uh uh, you know, bolster their 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 cybersecurity hygiene, their posture. So there's going to be a lot of changes and updates around the tech space. So um, please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Uh, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.